To the untrained eye, he looked just like any other guy. It will appear there's nothing suspicious about him or the fact that he may be on drugs. But science always uncovers the truth and our detection prevented him from getting away. That was the first time I caught a drug user trying to enter Singapore. I'm a technology guy. You know, the guy in the chair. Except I don't just sit behind a desk. I develop next-generation vehicles and less than lethal weapons for the home team. I'm interested in the what-ifs, the why-nots, and I try to reimagine possibilities to enhance security. As lab analysts, we wear many hats. In operations, we assist the ICA officers in securing our borders by checking for suspicious materials containing CBRNA threats. We put on the research hat when sourcing for new technologies to enhance our home team's capabilities. I'm also an instructor, training officers on CBRNE awareness, detection technologies and protocols. I work closely with our frontline officers to understand their needs and translate that into tangible solutions. Because at the end of the day, it must work for them. They must feel confident about using this equipment. That's most important. There's never a dull moment because we never know what we'll find in the next cargo or what new technologies criminals will reinvent tomorrow. And that's what makes my work so exciting to me. I think the work of the home team resonates with me because I witnessed firsthand how important they are. My grandma had a heart attack on her birthday and the SCDF responded swiftly. That was the day it struck me that they are involved in these life-changing moments every single day. Time and again, this incident reminds me of why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm serving something bigger than the project, something bigger than myself.